Sparta! Thank you. <laughs> Fuck is this? <laughs> okay, so is there anything I should know? Oh, there could be some mashed banana on the stage. So. <laughs> it's really slippery. You don't know how much I'm suffering here. Jesus, there's one thing to follow a comedian. There's another thing to follow a comedian followed by six people clearing banana off the stage. <laughs> I don't even know how he got it on the plane, let alone into Australia. I, I mean... I've been here a few times, I'm back here, I'm delighted to be back here, but by God, if there's one thing that's difficult, it's bringing fruit into Australia. It's unbelievable, I flew into Perth, and the first question, where's your fruit? Have you got any fruit? It's just, you just don't, ex it's not a question that you're psychologically prepared for, really. <laughs> uh, after a 24 hour flight, or whatever it is from Melbourne to Perth, like, you know, um, <laughs> it feels like 24 fucking hours, eh? Get any fruit, where's your fruit? Wait, open up, open your bag. Where's your fruit? It's just, you just never expect it. In Britain, we check for things like, I don't know, guns and knives, really, and bombs. In Australia, the enemy is plums, it turns out. So it's just sort of, it, I don't know, of course, you haven't got any fruit. Have you got any fruit? No, I'm not mental. Why would I? I wouldn't fly 24 hours to just harbour a banana in this country. But of course, you know what it's like. Once you're questioned by people, you get a guilty conscience. You find yourself thinking, fuck, maybe I do have a stray mango here somewhere. Uh, Shit, did I clear those papayas out of my pockets, you know? <laughs> you picture yourself in prison, what did you do? Oh, I killed my wife. What did you do? I smuggled a kiwi into the country, yeah. <laughs> 20 years is... And it's, it's uh, entering Australia, I've done it four or five times, it's still a baffling experience. There's the questions about fruit, there's the dogs leaping up at your testicles, <laughs> there's the policeman in shorts. That just... It, <laughs> For a British person, it's very hard to compute that. Authority figures do not wear shorts, right? <laughs> In Britain, if you have shorts on, you're at school. If you have shorts on and you have a police badge, you've stolen the police badge, <laughs> right? <laughs> for a prank. <laughs> it's funny, it's just... The thing is, you know, I, I've been to Australia a few times, but there is still this sense when you enter the country, oh, I'm doing something brave. Because this is how British people tend to treat Australia. Oh, you're so brave going there. Every year I come to Australia, every year people say to me, oh, I don't think I could ever go. This girl said to me this year, because P British people have the idea, Australia is dangerous, it's full of snakes and, sp and bugs and spiders, and British people massively exaggerate this threat, really. Uh, this woman said to me, I don't think I could ever go to Australia. The snakes, how do you manage with the snakes? And I explain, well, uh, Australians have devised a system where uh, people live in so-called houses. And, uh, um, <laughs> It's quite hard for a snake to get a mortgage, so, uh, <laughs> People and animals are segregated quite well, really, you know. <laughs> There's, I, you know, I've been saying this for weeks, you know, oh, be careful out there, you'll meet snakes. I will not meet a snake. The snakes don't just live in towns, okay? And then, of course, the flooding in Queensland, put the news on, snakes floating down the high street, so I kind of... <laughs> lost that argument. But on the whole, on the whole, I'm confident. People imagine you just, they're everywhere. You come to Australia, you get to Melbourne Airport, a snake stamps your passport. Uh, <laughs> what's the purpose of your visit? Although it wouldn't surprise me that the immigration controls are so peculiar and so random. The questions they ask you seem so arbitrary. For example, you won't know, most of you are Australian, so you won't have had this experience. If you're not from Australia, you have to fill out a card. One of the questions is, if you are not Australian, do you have tuberculosis? And you sort of go, well, uh, no but you should probably ask the Aussies as well. <laughs> What's that about? You got tuberculosis? Yeah. You Aussie? Yeah. Oh, I should be right. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name's Mark Watson. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Mark Watson!